Hello children, good morning. Welcome to the online classroom of Sri Gopalan Public School. I am Jalsi, your next teacher. How are you my dear children? Hope you all are fine and safe at your home. Now, we learn the numbers from 1 to 100. We know how to count the numbers from 1 to 100. Right children? Okay, what did we learn in the previous class? Yes. We have learned how to compare numbers. We learned three rules for comparing numbers. Do you remember that? Yes. First rule states that a two-digit number is always bigger than a one-digit number. Then what is the second rule? Yes. Second rule states that the number which has bigger tens digit is bigger. Then the last rule or the third rule states that a number with the bigger ones digit is bigger. I hope you have practiced it, right? Yes. So today let us learn about ascending and descending order and expanded form of numbers. Are you ready? Yes. First let us learn about ascending order. Ascending order means arrange the numbers in increasing order. That is the smallest to biggest. Let us understand this with an example. Here I have written four numbers. We have to arrange these numbers in ascending order. We know in ascending order, we have to arrange the numbers from smallest to biggest. First, we have to find out which is the smallest number. Here, we can use the rules for comparison, right? What is the first rule? Yes, a two-digit number is always bigger than a one-digit number. Here, see children, all the numbers are two-digit number. So, let us use the second row. That is, let us check the tens digit. In 27, the tens digit is 2, here 3, here 1 and here 8. 2, 3, 1, 8. Tell me children, which is the smallest number? Yes, 1. So, let us write here 90. 90 is the smallest number. So, let us close this number. Okay. Then 27, 36, 87. Again, let us compare the tens with it. 2, 3, 8. Which is the smallest number? 2. So, let us write here 27 and then close the number. Then 36 or 87. We know that 36 is the smaller number than the last 87. See, here we arrange these numbers in Ascending order that is we arrange these numbers from smallest to biggest. See children, in this way you can arrange the numbers in ascending order. That is, ascending order means arrange the numbers in increasing order. Is it clear? Next, let us learn about descending order. Descending order is the opposite of ascending order. So, in descending order, we arrange the numbers in decreasing order that is from biggest to smallest. Let us understand this with an example. Here I have written four numbers 39, 18, 72, 98. We have to arrange these numbers in descending order. Means we have to arrange these numbers from biggest to smallest. So we have to find out which is the biggest number. Tell me children, how do you find out the biggest number? Yes, we can use the rules for comparison. Here, all the numbers are two digit number. So, let us use the second rule. That is, let us compare the tens digit. The tens digits are 3, 1, 7 and 9. 3, 1, 7, 9 is the biggest number 9. So, let us write 98 as the biggest number. Then close the number. Then 39, 18, 72. Again, the tens digits are 3, 1, 7. Which one is the biggest? Yes, 7. So, let us write 72. Close the number. And 39 or 18. Which is the bigger number? We know 39. Then last, 18. Okay. So, here we arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. See so children, in this way, we can arrange numbers in descending order. That is in the decreasing order. Remember, in descending order, we will arrange the numbers from biggest to smallest. Ascending order, we will arrange the numbers from smallest to 
biggest. Is it clear? I hope you have understood how to arrange numbers in ascending and descending order. Next, let us learn about expanded form. Let us learn how to write the numbers in its expanded form. We know a two-digit number contains two places which are the tens and ones. For example, in 25, this number contains two tens and five ones. Right? The number 25 has two tens and five ones. Let's see how to write the expanded form of a number. For example, 25. We know 25 has two tens and five ones. So first we will write two tens plus how many ones are there in 25? Yes, five ones. So we write five ones. That is 25 has two tens and five ones. Plus, we know the value of two tens. What is the value of two tens? Yes, 20. So that's equal to 20 plus what is the value of five ones? Yes, five. 20 plus five. See children, this is the expanded form of the number 25. 20 plus 5 is the expanded form of the number 25. In this way, you can write the expanded form of any number. Right? Let us write the expanded form of this number. The first one, 36. We know 36 has 3 tens and 6 ones. What is the value of 3 tens? Yes, 30. Then what is the value of 6 ones? 6. 30 plus 6. See children, 30 plus 6 is the expanded form of the number 36. Let us solve the next one. 72. We know 72 has 7 10. How many ones are there in 72? Yes, 2. 72 has 7 tens and 2 ones. Let us write the value of 7 tens. That is 70 plus, what is the value of 2 ones? Yes, 2. So, 70 plus 2 is the expanded form of 72. The next one, 80. Tell me children, how many tens are there in 80? Yes, 8 tens. Then, how many ones? 0 ones. We know the value of 8 tens equal to 80. Then, 0 ones. That's equal to 0. So, 80 plus 0 is the expanded form of the number 80. Is it clear? See, this is the way of writing the expanded form of the number. Okay. So children, today we have discussed about ascending and descending order and expanded form of a number. I hope you have understood today's class. Then you have to practice this. Okay. I have captured notes of lesson and a worksheet along with this video. How to write down the notes and do the worksheet. Let me conclude today's session. See you in the next class. Till then, bye.